Hey guys, May has ended, so I guess K-pop month review for May. So May is my birthday month, so I got a bunch of presents and actually I got the last one today. It's not uploaded yet, but it is here. So I think it, everything was pretty much on time. It's a quite exciting month if you ask me, so got quite a few CDs. I tried my best to upload the unboxings and you know all that. So. There are three stacks and let's start with the first one. So the first video I uploaded this month was called The Album. It can be called a clickbait, but everyone who clicked on it and realized what album I'm talking about then instantly wasn't mad because it is The Album and this is super rare and super hard to get so... I didn't really cheat, I think. <laughs> so I hope you're not mad. Eventually I'm gonna put a thumbnail on it and eventually I'm gonna title it like that. Of course the tags in the video are done accordingly to the album, so if you search for the album unboxing it should show up, but I don't know. But it's complicated, okay. I talked way too much. So it is indeed Nine Muses Let's Have a Party, which is Currently, I guess, the most rare album in my collection. I do have some rare Suju stuff. It's mainly like food book and other stuff uh, rare, but I never really compare those things to other groups. And if we only consider my K-pop collection for other groups besides Suju, then this is definitely the most rare thing I own. So it's super exciting and yeah. If you haven't watched that video yet, which I doubt because it was like titled that you felt like you need to watch it. Uh, yeah, then of course links in the description for all these unboxings. And then the next one I unboxed is Snooper's Reign of Mind, my favorite release by them ever. And I came to the conclusion that people pretty much hate me unboxing Snooper albums. And okay, yeah, whatever. It is pretty and it is lovely. I love this album so much, how this looks like, everything physically. I love the content, the songs, the concept, everything. I just fell in love with Snooper in this comeback, actually. It just took me long to actually buy their albums. Then the next thing I unboxed, I got it a bit late, but again, yes, Asia shipping takes a while. I got the DNE music card for Lose It. They are doing a project where every month they release a single digitally in Japan, and eventually it's gonna be on a physical album, but for some strange reason, in the middle of it, they release this. So there is a random music card inside, but it's like one of the three options, and they are all the pair of them, so it's not individual anyways. And there are these little figures inside, I mean, one for each. It is quite cute and the spine is really nice, so I, I like that. Then, after all the struggle, I got the Voices limited edition of The Start. I always mess uh, oh yes, The Start, okay. So, yeah, this is the limited edition. I love the cover, both of them, so much. Um, well, they designed it. The photo book is not my favorite out of the three, but I just really wanted it. And it's super pretty pink spine, so yes, there is that. Um, I just really wanted this because I love the boys, so yeah. It's so strange to just say the boys. I mean, that's their name, that's the boys. Okay, okay. yeah. So <laughs> yeah, I got this. It was an interesting story. Like really, it took me way too long to get this. Then, the next things were my presents from Brenton. The Christmas present is Girls Day Everyday 5, my second Girls Day album if I don't count the Japanese single. And that is exciting because I really need to start my Girls Day collection and hopefully this helped me in the right direction. So, yeah, thank you so much, Brendan. Then the next one is my birthday present from Brendan. They came in the same package, that's why. And it is a random version of Twice's What is Love. And I got this version. So, yeah. Still have some cards up for trade, so... Yeah. You can watch my photo card collection or the unboxing themselves, I mean. Then I got the Japanese package. And one of the things inside was 4 Minute Huh, Which is one of the last 4 Minute albums I need for my collection. And... I'm happy to have this, finally, because it's like the 4 minute release for me, so yay. And the other album I unboxed in the same video, but people 
won't know if they didn't watch the video, is this Madtown Japan debut mini album of Egan's version. So now I only need two other members. Yeah. Which I ho hopefully people are going to help me find those. So yeah. <laughs> Because they want to have everything met down, since they don't have many, anyways. Then I got the Nymesis album from Shani. And it came in a giant two package package thing. And I only uploaded one more of those videos. And there's still many to come, don't worry. <laughs> yeah. And that video I uploaded is the UK's Break Time unboxing. One of the last UK's albums I want, so. Again, making progress. This was a great month for making progress, to be honest. So, yeah, it's great. Then I got more birthday presents. I always try to upload like one something else, either a talk video or another unboxing or suju unboxing and the birthday present. So I always try to mix them up a bit. So the next present is from Tina. I uploaded all the videos in order how I got them, actually. So uh, I got babies, put them up. That's my jam. So I work, I'm apparently working backwards on my BAP collection, I guess. So this is our single album and I really like this release and I'm really glad to have it. My BAP collection is slowly but steadily growing. Then the next thing I got, some suju, you know, is this thing. Like, see, this is tiny. So this is the Kino music card, or well, the Kino version of suju's replay repackage. And the exciting thing about this is the photo card set, which is clearly already in my binder, so it, it's this now, so it's, it's not much really, it's just a very strange thing that SM makes you buy, but to be honest, if you're not enough, just don't buy this, this, this no. <laughs> then the next package had my birthday present from Anna, and that is Shiny's Misconception of Us or Bound which is the last repackage I needed. So technically my shiny collection is like completed in my way of completed. Again, progress, see, like it's just really great. So of course the new release is the one missing. I'm gonna wait for all the mini albums to be released and, released, and then wait for SM to either do a repackage or a compilation album like this one. So I'm gonna wait and see. I do like the first release very much. So obviously I'm gonna put it like, it. it to my shiny collection, but I'm just gonna wait it out. I came to the decision that for some SM groups it's just the best to wait everything because they have millions of versions and you know all that. So yeah, but this is very exciting and finally I could see personally for myself on my own, uh, my own copies of these two albums because uh, I've only seen my roommates so before. Then the next things I got were some very strange random purchases from eBay and those are two promo CDs. The first one being, uh, it was this at first, the Dota Opa, the Korean Opa Opa, basically a digital single on promo CD because before the Opa Opa Japanese release they performed it on Super Show and then oh what if we release this in Korea? Well that's for that. and. A couple of days later, Great Music City also listed the second album, Don Don's promo CD. If you know me, you know that this album means something. So I thought for a while and then just couldn't resist, so I bought it. Even though these come with basically nothing, you know. Then the next birthday package I opened is from Shani. So some other random Shani stuff is different. I mean, technically the Nine Music album is a gift. But it can be considered like a previous birthday or Christmas present kind of thing. But this year's my 24th birthday birthday present from Shani is the AOA Japanese Food Album Runway. Because this was the only CD played album I missed from them. So again, see? Progress. Whoa. Just my amazing friends helped out a lot this year. Oh my god, they're amazing and I'm forever grateful. So yeah, that is very exciting because again, completed. Took me a while, I know. Uh, I think there was a talk video. And the next one is another birthday present, and that is from May. And again, progress. The Pink Revolution album of A Pink. The last A Pink album I needed, see? This is like the progress month. It's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> so, this is absolutely beautiful. I'm in love with this. 
this is so pretty and I also really like this release in general so already liked it before and it makes me really excited to have a complete collection to be honest so yeah yay then the next thing is I was at a concert and they sold the album a digital singles promo album so I couldn't resist it's Alphabet's Wanna Get You Love last summer's comeback and they came to my country they had a tiny concert and it was super fun and amazing and in the unboxing I also talk about the concert that's why it's so long I mean this is like a tiny photo book inside so the unboxing itself is not that long it's just I couldn't help myself and talk about the concert and like yeah, it was fun okay and I really do encourage people going to small groups concerts if they come near you because if you support them well for one they can eat food then for two other groups might come to your plates and those might be your underrated favorites next time so you never know plus I knew Alphabet for a couple of years now and I was surprised when they made a comeback so I was definitely interested in it because when I get your love is like get your love is like my favorite song of theirs so yeah and I really like the concept and everything here, so it's pretty. Then, something again exciting happened Super Junior wise because there are things that I never knew exist and then they appear and then I see that, oh wait, this thing is official, I need to buy it, that's basically it. Like, I don't think much and that was this photo book this time. This is the first premium event in Japan photo book. I already have the premium lives photo book, which again was another thing that I only found out it existed when I bought it. So things like that happen, I guess. Um, there shouldn't be more, but I always thought there won't be more and then like th this happened again. So the 2008 thing, it's a 10 years old thing and I just got it this year and that is exciting again. Suju collection growing is always exciting. Again, progress month. Then, my birthday present from Sabina. We, of course, met up. We were here at my place. I opened the package. And the birthday present is newest QS, which is like wonder which features a wonderful blonde JR. Like my favorite hairstyle on him, but I just oh wait, which way? I just really like the pictures in uh, like like can you not? So yeah, and it's beautiful with all this little see. In general, this album is absolutely gorgeous. So simple packaging, but still gorgeous. I think it's my favorite. Uh, I don't know canvas. Uh, you know, you know what I mean. Again, progress month because not much is missing from New East. <laughs> okay, then the last album unboxing I uploaded this month is Favorites Love Loves to Love Love. My absolute favorite title, K pop album title ever. Just look at this, it's lovely. Oh my god. And this is super pretty baby pink, and the photo book is very gorgeous. They are a very unknown group, like. You might have not even known they existed before this, I don't know. You should definitely check out at least their debut song, but this one as well. I was surprised when they made a comeback, but very grateful. It's still a very nice release. And yeah, I'm just like promoting favorite. And the reason why I uploaded this first is because YouTube, like nobody uploaded an unboxing of this album yet on YouTube. So that's why I uploaded it. So hopefully people are searching for this unboxing. But also other things came in this package. So I'm gonna start off the month, next month with like Dreamcatcher, Teen Top, Cross Jean, pretty much. And birthday present. So yeah. So this was my month for May, super exciting month. This might be my favorite May so far. I think it is because I got rare Suju stuff, promo CDs, which I never thought I would have. I went to a concert and got an album that I didn't even think that they would sell on eBay before. So like, it's great to buy it at the concert. Then like my A-Pink, the AOA present, and like, you know, just progress. The Twice and Girls Day too. So like, it's just shiny, of course, shiny. Like three of them, A Pink, AOA, and Shiny basically completed part of my collection, so that is amazing. And like Yukis helped out a lot, and like getting me a BAP album always helps out a lot because they have a lot of albums. So, and Snooper. I'm so close, and I know nobody cares that I'm so close in completing my collection. I know that literally nobody cares, but I'm gonna force people to kinda like them. It, it sometimes works, so just. Yeah, bear with me. So, yeah, thank you for watching. And <laughs> I'm gonna go with this 
in the center and like just tell you that even if you buy this most likely you are never gonna use it and even if you use it you realize that why why <laughs> okay stop bye